Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about a sad event that happened in the British underworld, the funeral of Dave Courtney. He was a self-proclaimed ex-gangster turned author and celebrity who claimed to have been involved in debt collecting, minding clubs, assault, contraband, and murder. He also wrote six books, starred in several films, and appeared in many documentaries and TV shows. He was known as the most feared man in Britain, and he had a life full of crime, violence, and controversy. But how did he die, and how was his funeral? Let's find out. On October 22, 2023, Dave Courtney passed away in his home in Plumstead, which was known as Camelot Castle. There is a lack of clarity regarding the events leading up to his passing. It has been said that he either committed himself by shooting himself in the head or that he experienced a heart attack, which may or may not have been related to the chronic heart problem he had. In the course of his life, he had endured a number of violent incidents, including being shot, stabbed, having his nose bitten off, and even killing someone in order to preserve his own life. The suffix OBE is an abbreviation that stands for One Big Ego, which he frequently referred to himself as. His funeral was on October 29, 2023, and it took place at Street Mary Magdalene Church in Woolwich. Hundreds of mourners, including members of his family, friends, admirers, and former colleagues, were present at the event. The funeral was attended by a number of famous people, including the actor Ray Winstone, the boxer Frank Bruno, the comedian Bobby Dabro, and the singer Sinita. The funeral served as a spectacle for the media as well, with cameras and reporters present to record the ceremony. Six mourners clad in full black with sunglasses on their faces bore the casket to the funeral home. It was adorned with a flag of the Union, as well as a cross of St. George. A big knuckle duster, a sign of Courtney's reputation as a tough man, was also attached to the top of the hat. A parade of motorbikes and cars, some of which were decked with flags and banners, followed the casket as it was driven down the street. A flower wreath bearing the word legend was placed on the hearse. The Reverend Michael Lovegrove presided over the funeral and spoke eulogistically about Courtney, praising him for his commitment to helping others and his deep love for his family. In addition to this, he noted the contentious history surrounding Courtney and stated that he was not there to pass judgment on him. According to him, Courtney was a complicated individual who possessed a multi-layered personality. He indicated that Courtney possessed a deep religion and had a strong belief in God. During the memorial service, there were also musical tributes performed by Courtney's friends and family. The song, You Raise Me Up, was performed by Sinita, while My Way was sung by Bobby Dabro, and Ray Winstone recited a poem titled The Final Curtain. Jenny, Courtney's wife, also delivered an impassioned speech in which she expressed her love for her husband with every fiber of her being. She claimed that he was her ideal companion and her closest confidant. According to her, he was a devoted spouse, a doting father, and a kind-hearted individual. The song Always Look on the Bright Side of Life by Monty Python, which was one of Courtney's favorites, was played at the conclusion of the service. After that, the casket was transferred to Falconwood Cemetery to be interred there. The mourners showed their respect for the deceased by strewing the grave with flowers and nuffle dusters. Dave Courtney was a character who sparked controversy because he led an unconventional life. He was held in high regard by certain people, while others despised him. He started off as a criminal, but eventually got famous. In his own head, he was a legendary figure. He went under the name of Dave Courtney. I'm hoping that this film of Dave Courtney's funeral was enjoyable for you to see. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any further films like this one. In addition, please share your opinions regarding Dave Courtney in the comments section below. Do you believe that he was deserving of the respect that was shown to him at his funeral? What kind of legacy do you think he left behind, one that is beneficial or negative? What are your thoughts on whether or not people will remember him? Your thoughts would be very much appreciated. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.